Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to unroot the Samsung Galaxy S2, the T-Mobile version. Okay, now before you begin, this will erase everything off of the device. So make sure to back up any pictures, contacts, etc., anything else you don't want to lose. Also, this only works on the T-Mobile version of the Galaxy S2. For any other version, please head to our Galaxy S2 How-To's section and then look for your specific device's unrooting procedure instead. Okay, first up, download the original Samsung Galaxy S2 firmware for T-Mobile using this link here. Pick whichever one you want. And once the timer goes down, click on download and save that to your computer. Okay, next you're gonna plug in the device via USB cable. And then we're going to select connect to USB storage. This way we can transfer files to the phone. Okay, once you plug it in and you mount the USB storage, uh, your device should show up in your file explorer. We're gonna click on the removable disk that is the SD card. Uh, not the internal storage, and we're going to take that file that we downloaded earlier and do not unzip it. Leave it as a zip file and then pull it over to the SD card, not inside any folders, just on the SD card itself. So this way it's removable disk and then the file is there and it's still a .zip file. Okay, and once that file is transferred, we can disconnect storage from PC, unplug the device, we're gonna power it down. Once it's completely powered down, we're gonna hold the two volume buttons down, both up and down at the same time. And then we're gonna push the power button until it vibrates and then let go of the power button once it vibrates and keep holding the two volume buttons until it boots into recovery mode. Okay, after that, we're gonna use the volume buttons to go down to wipe data factory reset, power button to select, select yes. Wait for it to format everything. Then install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And choose the stock firmware file. And then hit yes and wait for it to install. And once it says install from SD card complete, we can scroll to go back, then reboot system now, and wait for the device to reboot. And once the device finally reboots, you should be greeted with the original welcome screen. As long as you have that, you're all set, enjoy.